using the dual pole radar display, but certainly we do have strong circulation still here right over the Godly area. Now I know uh, we've got uh, spotters who are watching the storm. To this point, I don't believe we have heard anything. Now this is a very unusual looking display, the correlation coefficient, and right now I don't see anything that really jumps out at me here uh, that would indicate uh, damage uh, or debris being lofted into the air. But uh, there is still a potential tornado coming into Godly at this time. Tornado warning again, five uh, until 5:30, and may be extended beyond that, uh, depending on how well this holds together. But that that is a pretty well-defined little hook for a line like this. Typically, you would see the biggest tornado threats with uh, a supercell isolated rather than in a line like this. But when we look at this view. Uh, I'm not sure, Brian, which radar are we looking at here? Is this, this next radar or is this is ours? Okay, so this is, is our radar. It's not quite as close. Ours is over in the eastern portion of Ellis County, and it's not quite as close, so we're not looking as near to the ground as we are with the NEXRAD radar. If we switch over to NEXRAD, you can see the different look because we're seeing lower down towards the surface, and that's where we are seeing more of a circulation coming around the back side of this, uh, the rear flank downdraft and the circulation coming around on the back side. Let's go take a look one more time at that uh, uh, velocity mode. Still pretty good indications right there, what we call gate to gate, where you have one right next to the other. The red indicating flow away from the radar, the green indicating flow towards the radar, and so we do still have very strong indication of signatures. Is there anything on the chat room about any spotters in that area? Uh, there was a wall, a wall cloud associated Rick? with it, David, yeah. a wall cloud, but no confirmed tornadoes at this point. Okay, at this point, uh, just a wall cloud. And uh, I don't know, Rick, if you want to take over just a second, see if you've got anything new to present to us. Well, I want to make sure that the folks in Godly are taking their tornado precautions. If you're new to North Texas or new to this whole tornado thing, don't panic. What you want to do is get as low as you possibly can and put as many walls in between you and the outside as possible. Chances are that's going to be a bathroom or a hall closet. Take the pillows off your bed. Kind of protect yourself with, with that. If the kids have bike helmets or you have bike helmets and you feel the need, make sure you put those on. But if you just get to an interior room, get away from windows, you're going to be fine as this passes on through. I just wanted to kind of zoom out here and show the broader view. What we're looking at here is Tarrant County. You see the thunderstorms from Keller through Saginaw down through uh, downtown Fort Worth. Then the storm really intensifies as it gets from Benbrook down to the Crescent area. And that's what David has been tracking this storm coming into the godly area. But again, this is not a confirmed tornado. It's got the look on radar, but we don't necessarily have a set of eyes that is confirming that there's a tornado occurring at this point. So take those tornado precautions, get as low as you can, put as many walls in between you and the outside. Outside of the tornado warning area, you can expect some gusty winds, very heavy rain. We've already had 70 mile per hour winds reported with this particular line of thunderstorms in white settlement. So this is a dangerous situation because it's a coming through at rush hour. We have a lot of water, a lot of water coming down on the roads, and we have that intense storm moving through Johnson County. Let's go back over to David for more. Thanks, Rick. Uh, once again, we're looking at this one cell here with the tornado potential. We really have not seen a tornado threat across North uh, Texas and our viewing area until this one. We have had some way off in East Texas, and I think that's where the larger tornado threat is going to reside. But we have mostly had a straight line wind and hail threat in, during the day until this last 15 minutes in northern Johnson County. We'll zoom back in. You can see the storms moving in across Fort Worth right now. This uh, northern edge starting to look a little bit more ragged. Uh, the stronger winds perhaps down here in southern Tarrant County where it's bowing out just a little bit. We may still be seeing some 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts coming in towards Edgecliff Village, Crowley, and eventually towards Burleson. And then you shift a little farther to the south and right here in Godley. They're in the middle of the heavy rain. Now, if we had a tornado there, we should probably be receiving some reports from Godley. Perhaps the newsroom can check with the uh, fire department or uh, officers there in the Godley area and see if we are 
uh, getting any reports of damage from that location. Rick, what do you have for us? The rotation, the rotation on this storm has uh, weakened near in the Godley area just a little bit. There's still going to be some straight line wind concern, and the National Weather Service has uh, reissued a severe thunderstorm warning for southern Tarrant County and Johnson County. So the actual circulation itself may have come down just a little bit, but we don't want folks to drop their guard because there'll probably be some straight line winds. Pretty good circulation there, perhaps not quite as intense as it was. And uh, we're waiting for this to update with the next image uh, that comes in on the radar. And when it does, I think we'll find that that is really uh, coming down based on what we are hearing from the National Weather Service. But still, uh, circulation right there over Godly. Notice, though, it appears now that it is back into the rain area. And uh, looking at our radar, I think uh, you would find that uh, the main circulation has shifted eastward from that point. I'm thinking that uh, last view we saw was probably the next rad radar. Was that correct? Okay. Brian tells me that's what we were looking at that was still showing the circulation here. Remember, that is sometimes delayed about five or six minutes. This is our own NBC5 radar, which is live up to the minute. And notice the circulation has shifted east of Godly at the present time. And so this is, if we've got a tornado, it would be east of Godly now, so the, the threat in Godly of tornadoes has already come and gone. They are still seeing very heavy rain, very likely some hail there, but if we have not received any reports of damage, I'm thinking there probably wasn't an actual tornado because it passed right over that uh, little town of Godly and is now headed eastward towards Joshua. Uh, this will be coming in uh, into the Joshua area about 532, Egan 540. Notice this is going to pass to the north of Cleburne, but uh, but you folks down in Cleburne and towards Lake Pat have had to deal with tornadoes in the past, and uh, you will definitely be seeing some storms coming your way, but this current tornado warning just restricted to that northern part of the county. The tornado threat has ended in Godly, but continues as you track eastward between there and Joshua there in the northern part of the county. Uh, assuming that circulation holds together, should be over to uh, Midlothian a little after 6 o'clock. I don't know if the circulation will last that long. The storm, I think, is very likely to do so. David, Meredith, can I ask you a quick question? So are yeah. we still under a tornado warning in Johnson County? And if so, when does it expire? Yeah, the tornado warning still in effect. See this red okay. polygon right here? That is the tornado warning. And that runs officially until 530, which is, of course, is just a couple of minutes away from expiring. We'll see if the Weather Service plans to reissue on that. Rick is checking uh -huh. with the National Weather Service right now. What and only you, Johnson what County right now under a tornado warning, David? Right. That's the only okay. county, as uh, Meredith just pointed out, that's the only county under a tornado warning. We have severe thunderstorm warnings elsewhere. Let's widen out the view, Brian. Take a look at the rest of North Texas and show you where we do have severe thunderstorm warnings still in effect across much of Tarrant County. Here's that new warning that it covers the southern section of Tarrant County. Notice that runs until 630 and it also incorporates that northern half of Johnson County until 630. The tornado warning will probably see disappear off the map here in the next couple of minutes because that's going to expire at uh, 530. We do have another warning down here from Hood into northern Somerville County and into the southern sections. Okay, let's uh, go to Chopper 5. We've got a uh, view. Where, where is uh, Chopper located at the present time? It uh, looks like it's uh, it's going to be northwest of the of the storm, looking back to the southwest. But it's got a nice overview of, of how that uh, how that storm looks. And again, it, it, we're coming up on the 5:30 hour, David. And I believe by the National Weather Service issuing the severe thunderstorm warning for Johnson County, that this uh, warning is likely going to uh, be allowed to expire. The tornado warning the tornado will expire. Warning, yeah. The severe thunderstorm warning will continue. And right here. That is the shelf cloud indicating strong outflow wind coming out of the thunderstorm. That is going to produce perhaps some 60 mile per hour or greater gusts. That is going to push out. You can see underneath that, the rain foot here, all of that heavy rain.